What would you find if you dropped by this community church festival? You'd find a culture overflowing with passion and enthusiasm for all of life's flavors. This week, join us to meet the Greek Americans as we savor their delicious Mediterranean cuisine and revel in their arts and music. Coming up next on World in America. Known as the birthplace of modern democracy, political theory, and philosophy, ancient Greece contributed myriad new ideas to the world and laid the intellectual cornerstone for Western civilization. Greece's capital city, Athens, witnessed centuries of historical changes from the Hellenic era to the Byzantine Empire through Ottoman rule and finally to Greece's declaration as an independent state in 1821. In the subsequent decades, Political upheavals, economic hardships, and the promise of new opportunities spurred the first waves of immigration to the U.S. The Greek Americans quickly established themselves as part of a growing new America. There are large concentrations of Greek American communities in Midwest cities such as Chicago, Cleveland, and Detroit, as well as in New York City. Today, it's estimated that over three million American residents can claim Greek descent. The Greek culture has been live and vivid in the States for many, many, many years. The Greek Americans are those people that have come here to uh, take, take advantage of the opportunities that this country has offered. They are cheerful, they are energetic, they love to enjoy themselves, they love to enjoy life. The Greeks are passionate, they have an opinion about everything, and, and, and they pretend to be experts in everything. So I think it's so great that we have such a taste of the whole world right here in this community. What makes Greek Americans is their dual identity. The one identity that they are Greek and the other identity they are at the same time Americans. We really enjoy celebration. We enjoy having um, a good time, good food, good wine, people. Um, you know, it, I guess I would sum it up as just a zest for life. Culture, the Greek Americans are unabashedly passionate about, well, everything. And the old adage of the more the merrier always holds true at a Greek American festival. So come on in. Whoopla! This is our fourth annual Greek festival. It's a benefit for our parish, the Greek Orthodox Parish of Hunterdon County. All the proceeds will go into a parish building fund because we're working very hard towards building a church in this area of the state of New Jersey. <laughs> are very warm, very hospitable. They take a, a deep sense of pride in their heritage and in their background, and they enjoy sharing that with others. This is the best one. Make sure you take that one. <laughs> they love to share their foods and their culture. That's why having a festival is so wonderful for us, because we can share our background, a little bit about our foods and our culture, our dances and so forth, with the community in general. We enjoy Greek music to sing together, to get together, and uh, feast in the Greek way, which is, includes a lot of music. The 
first thing I like in Greek culture is the dancing. So keeping those dances uh, alive and um, you know teaching the children the dances dances of their heritage that's very important I think to maintaining that identity. The first large influx of Greek immigrants came to the States during the 1920s, and another wave fled Greece to escape the post-World War II economic depression. Upon their arrival, the Greeks quickly established themselves in businesses, the arts, and other entrepreneurial pursuits. The Greek Americans always came to the U.S. Back in uh, Colorado, back in the 1800s, there was a uh, union disputes at the time Rockefeller owned that. A lot of those miners were Greeks. But the real migrations came in the early 1900s. You had a lot of migrations here from Greece. Then in the late 60s, mid to late 60s, you had another huge migration. I would think the biggest migration of Greeks was back in the 60s. Greeks who came long time ago, they came under different circumstances, with different experiences, and um, you would find them different than our generation. I think, you know, the early Greek immigrants that came here, you know, were trying to maintain their culture as much as possible while also acclimating to the American culture. Um, so, you know, in, in those days, um, it may have been that they would seek out Greek people to make sure that, you know, they could, could continue their heritage and their uh, celebrations and so forth. So a big part of that was always the church, you know, that would bring people together, but also various social organizations and so forth that would bring people from different regions together. You know, people who came in the 70s, uh, they are more Greeks, I would say, than uh, people who came later, um, um, primarily because they didn't uh, assimilate themselves in, in the American culture. Uh, they live in Astoria, uh, they do business in Astoria, they don't go beyond the community. While uh, younger people who went through college here, uh, they have gone into the mainstream uh, culture. Now we're very much dispersed. Um, our culture also, um, you know, has, has spread, if you will, in, in a certain extent because we've also acclimated to the American culture. We have married people outside of our Greek uh, ethnic background, so we've shared our culture with them. There's sort of like a blending, I guess, going on. It's more of a Greek American culture versus Greek culture. My parents came here to give us a better life. The kids, we, we went to school, we became educated. My parents came from a very poverty-stricken village after the Second War. People were dying on the street from hunger, from poverty. They brought us here so that we can have a better life. They didn't speak English but they made the best of it so that their kids could have these opportunities. Greek Americans embrace others, but always hold their own close. The parents teach children to seize new opportunities, but also to stay true to their culture, respect their heritage, and above all, support each other. Well, my parents uh, told us, there were five of us, they told us that uh, you're not gonna speak any other language in this house except Greek, because they didn't want us to, to forget the language. We're, we're primarily concerned with uh, uh, teaching our kids uh, certain uh, customs uh, and and the history of the place where we came from.
So I had to communicate with my parents in Greek. <laughs> and, and, and it was good because I remembered and I kept my language. Otherwise, you go to school, everything's English. You go to college, it's in English. You go to the outside world, it's in English. So because you're dealing with the outside world and everything's in English, the only Greek I had and the Greek uh, training I had was at home. This poem is named Tumi Kruvoria and it is by Elitis. And the music was by Sotoraki. Tu microvoria para anguila, nane calopedaki. As a family, to preserve my culture, I speak Greek at home. I use my language and I try to use it not only for kitchen, I try to use it about all kinds of subjects. It's important to, to know Greek because the English vocabulary, many words have Greek roots. So if we don't if we don't know Greek, then it would have been much harder for us to understand those words. I think it's important to study um, my culture because I could communicate with other people and my relatives, my grandmas that also speak Greek. They're not really good at English. The fact that they are two, they understand two cultures very well, that uh, helps them to apply their knowledge of difference in many other cultures that is not them. I'm married to someone who's not Greek. My children go to after school Greek school. They come uh, to the church to learn Greek dancing. And that's a way that I feel that we're uniquely connected to the heritage. The family remains a durable, unshakable unit, and modern American life needs to be balanced with traditional values. We decided that I stay here and give the, all the support to our children that they need, and my husband goes to work. The Greek uh, family gets together, like we, we did as kids. They get together uh, around the table and then everybody sits down and they open up with a prayer, you know, God bless this food, and then they begin with it. And, and it's very polite. The father is the focal point of the, of the table with the mother. She gets up, she serves everybody. That's the tradition. She serves everybody, the father sits there like the vasilia, like the king. In the old times it was. Now we know <laughs> that mothers have uh, equal place in family like fathers. <laughs> Kids are more individualized and, and, and actually they know their rights more than, uh, than kids growing up in Greece. The, the freedoms that the kids have is a problem that a lot of these immigrant uh, families face. <laughs> I deal with uh, immigrant uh, parents all the time who complain about, you know, my kids are going to school and they're learning too many freedoms. What I try to do in my family for my children, I want them to feel 100% Greeks and I want them to feel 100% Americans. Uh, we go every year back to uh, Cyprus uh, and the kids get to know the culture. I like having trip, going on trips to Cyprus because that's where my family is. When I go to Cyprus, I like visiting my cousins. We play a lot in the summer, don't like, I don't have a lot of homework. What I like the most is the richness we find here for raising my children. They can be appreciated for what they learn or 
for what they do if they are doing it well. 100% Greek, 100% American. Add it all up and you'll find that the Greek Americans give 200% to everything they do. When faced with a faster, hectic, and stressful American life, they're determined to rise to the competition and always strive to succeed. When we return, we'll hear how these Greek Americans have taken on new challenges and turned them into achievements. Next on World in America. They're startled by the freedom that this country has. For us, I think we also feel the pressure that we are in a, in, a, in a different place. We are here, so we have to do well. 